Hey guys, welcome to another freaking easy project. The, I took the code from Scott Hanselman's uh, Morse code program that he created for the Netduino. Added a keyboard support, added a buzzer, and put the key presses in a queue, and then spit it out as a Morse code. So here's an S. There's an O, and if you put NSOS, then you could hear. Here's an H, there's an E, it says just a dot. So, L, and finally an O. So, if I type hello. Yeah, that's about it. I think it's a lot more fun to look at the code, so let's do that. Okay, let's look at some code. Uh, as I mentioned, this uh, most of this code came from Scott Hanselman. Uh, he wrote for Netduino, the Netduino, but uh, the wonders of that net framework, it works just fine on the Fez. Um, let's see. Yeah, these are the stuff I added. Basically, I added the keyboard handling and the uh, beeper. So let's get started. Uh, we got some constants here that I learned from here on the wiki. Wikipedia is wonderful. You can learn about anything. And so I just put in a constant uh, for the initial dot, I say 100 millisecond, and the dash will become three times that, it says. The dash is equal to three dots, so that's what that is. Um, in between the dots and the dashes, is space between parts are the same as the one dot, which is what that is, enter, symbol. And in between letters is three dots, that's what that is, and enter word is seven dots. Okay, these are the new stuff. Uh, we have a keyboard a class, object. This is the original from the original code, it's an onboard. But we also added an output for a Piso speaker which is a class that I wrote over here, which we'll come back to. And originally I didn't have this queue, but as I start typing, it gets uh, running into each other because we'll see it's an event handler and it will just get called one on top of another and it really messed things up. So uh, I end up having to create a queue. Basically, when someone type a key, we put it into the queue. And so if they type multiple, uh, keys that is in in fast sequence. It'll just keep on adding up in the queue, and then we will pull it out. Oh, let's go look at some code. So right here, uh, we'll ignore this for now. But down here in this loop is when I actually say, "Is there anything in the queue? If there is some character in the queue, then go unqueue one of those. Go grab it from the queue. Uh, this is a first in, first out. So whatever is typed in first is the first time we, is the first one that we will pull out and then uh, t that brings out the morse character you know one of these dot dash things and i just called a, a routine that scott wrote with the addition of the beeping in there so let's go back uh, here nothing fancy there let's just instantiate the beeper instantiate the queue and this is where uh, a lot of the fun stuff with the uh, fast domino comes in because they have a USB host controller. So first thing we do is say, we say whenever somebody hook up a keyboard, call this, call back. And there we say, is uh, what is being uh, plugged in, if it is a keyboard, then instantiate another class, uh, the keyboard class. We have one of those. And then whenever somebody press a character, call this handler. In that handler, we say, okay, give me the character that they type in, in ASCII, please. There's also non-ASCII versions here. So if you're interested in uh, the actual key, uh, apparently every key keyboard character on the keypad um, and physical keyboard has a special code, but we're actually using the standard ASCII. So we take that character and we convert it to Morse, which uh, I didn't write this, Scott wrote that. And we get back a string, which is the dot dash dot dash. And there's a debug. 
and then uh, like I said norm originally I put it in here but every time if you if this key press happens too fast multiple of these start to happen and they basically the the dots and the dashes just like run on top of each other mangling everything up <laughs> so instead we enqueue it basically put it into the queue and the code that you saw earlier up here in the main will unqueue it if there's anything to unqueue that's the gist of it let's see oh here's the piso class not much in here either we intend or when they instantiate that class we say I want a PWM on pin 5 and then later on over here in transmit dash eventually okay so this one is like a string of dot and dots and dashes it goes through every character and it will transmit either one dot or one dash character not a string and this is where the I edit my code which is if if it is a dot if the parameter that's coming in is a dot then wait for the dot time which is 100 millisecond otherwise wait for the dash time which is three times that and so this is Scott's original write to turn on the LED and in the meantime we beep for that long and then once the beep is done meaning that we've had left the light on for that long for this long we turn the light off and that's about that finally the beeping not much in here this is a built-in uh, call on PWM you tell it how what frequency you want I believe I pick 1k and then you tell it uh, the duty cycle 50 is a perfect uh, square wave and there's the sleep that we passed in earlier and then when the sleep time has elapsed we be quiet I think that's all the code Let's see if I forget anything else to mention well I think that's about it uh, thanks for watching uh, if you got any questions send it in thanks bye bye